Hello guys, this video is a simple introduction to NEAT algorithm. This video will be followed by a full coding guide to create your own NEAT algorithm in Python. So let us begin with the tutorial. So what is exactly a NEAT algorithm? Well, NEAT stands for Neural Evolution of Augmenting Topologies. So I will be talking a bit about topologies later, but first we shall know that it is a type of angelic algorithm, meaning that it somehow tries to evolve a neural network. Yeah, it's a little confusing, but we will see that later. But let us first see what exactly is a genetic algorithm. So, what is a genetic algorithm? Well, we can see a monkey, human baby, a fully grown human, and the new superhumans, or the aliens. So, if you notice carefully, we are looking at evolution. So, like we know, in evolution, the species evolving gets more fitter, more stronger, and more developed to face the current conditions. Just like we know, our apes were stupid. They used to eat rocks, they used to die from snake bites and other stuff. Then we evolved into humans who were stronger, who learned how to hunt, who learned how to farm, and all and all and all that. And then, as we are small, we know nothing. Then we grow, grow, grow and become adult, where we know what is right for us, what is wrong for us, and more. So, what exactly is a genetic algorithm? Well, it's some kind of a strategy that different organisms follow, such that their offsprings or the next generation, more firmly speaking, is more stronger, more developed to perform certain tasks or just evolves. Well, I'm talking about the word fitter, fitter, fitness again and again. Let us see what it means. So, fitness is the measure of how well an object is performing in the environment. Well, we know that fitness is proportional to reward, but what is a reward? Uh, I hope you have played video games where at end you get the score. Suppose you are playing a game of tic-tac-toe and in the end you win three games, so your score will be three. So the higher the score, the more better player of tic-tac-toe you are. So. Fitness is proportional to the reward, but not exactly equal to the reward, because some parameters may change the fitness. Hence, we can conclude that a fast runner has a higher fitness value when we are talking about a game of sprint or racing. So, now we will be needing a little background of biology. Not pile as that much, but some terminologies. So, what is a cell? Well, it's a basic unit. It's an organism, and it contains a DNA, which defines the cell, and the cell defines the organism. So, what defines the DNA? The genes. The genes are the small units that define the DNA. It is the combination of genes that makes the DNA represent a cell or its functions or its characteristics or whatever you can call it. Well, we know that the connections, collections of all genes is a genome, meaning that if we take multiple genes together, like the gene for our hair color, the gene for our height, the gene for, the gene for our eye color, together then it's called a genome so a genome will be a very important part 
of the NEAT algorithm. Then we have mutation and crossover. So I will be not be talking about this that much in the introduction, but we should know what they are. So mutation basically is when the genes are altered randomly. So you know that if you are evolving, you need to test some things or you need to explore some possibilities. Suppose growing height favors hunting. So first our species needed to be experimenting that if our height grows, does our fitness, I mean our strength grows and then and then crossover. So you must be knowing that you inherit some characteristic from the two of your parents. Well, what does it basically mean? It means the genes from both the parents are intermixed randomly so that they achieve a more fitter offering as it contains both the characteristics of both the parents. Now, we will come to neural networks for just a moment as these concepts are so closely related. So here comes the neural networks. So a neural network can have many kinds of structures which are often difficult to find for a certain task, meaning as you can see here, you can have different kind of neural network structures. Suppose if I give you a question, how can you find the best network for classification of dogs and cats? And the question will be extremely simple. We will just be needing to find a kind of algorithm that can decide which network will be the so, as per you, the answer will be, well, it's genetic algorithm. Yes. So, what exactly is a genetic algorithm? Well, it's evolving. So, we feed it some random neural network. It does some magic work. Yeah, I mean, guess it's random stuff and gives us some terrific topology or a structure of a neural network. So, again, neural networks in genetic algorithm. So, I want you to stop for a minute, read the blue box, and then the what are nodes and genes. So, as you can see, the blue circles are called the nodes or the different neurons in a neural network. Then the connections or the synapses between two nodes are called genes. Well, it's a little confusing, but the blue box perfectly explains it. So here I go. Basically, all the characteristics of a neural network are defined by the weights across different connections, meaning only to alter the behavior of a neural network, we only need to change the weights. So, for a cell, if we need to alter its behavior, we only need to change the gene. And also, it is very necessary that the connections interconnect the two neurons. So, it basically defines the structure of the network. Like, if two connections are connected to different neurons, the structure completely changes. Similarly, a DNA or a gene is no other than that it is also a connection between two nodes as like the connections it also describes the cell in the same way that a gene does hence we can conclude that the genes and the connections between two nodes are no different thing but the same but for different things one for a network another for a cell but in a genetic algorithm of NEAT, we will consider them to be the same thing. So, a NEAT genome. Well, hope you remember that a NEAT genome is a collection of genes. 
Big no collection of synapses to different nodes means a, a, a neural network. So, what exactly is a neat genome? Hmm. Here we can see nodes. Nodes are just the different neurons. And then the genes. Genes are connecting, I mean, the information of the connections between the two neurons. Like we see, like we see one gene, one to three, implies that the gene, it implies that the connection is between one and three. It has a weight of 1.4. It has an ID of 42. Yes, the ID concept will come a little later. It's called invention number or identification number for a certain gene. It will be useful in mutations and crossover. So we are over with the introduction. Now we shall start coding and we should open Jupyter to begin.